It's a sound that strikes fear into some. The buzzing of honeybees. They're very important, they're pollinators. But get past the stingers, then what seemed like a frightening sight, and you'll be reminded just how important apiaries like these are for our ecosystem. So the pollination part is huge for all of us. Every third bite of food you take, thank a honeybee. Their pollination affects nearly everything we eat and also plays a sweet role in the state's economy. Montana typically ranks in the top five states as far as the amount of honey we produce. All the way across here, that's all honey. But this year wasn't as sweet as years past. And to find out more about why, you have to really go behind the scenes. This year's buzz has been a bit muted. We had a really good year last year. This year wasn't the case. Columbus-based Sunshine Apiary has been around for decades. Vice President Patty Sunberg says production depends on moisture. This year's been a little bit tougher especially uh, South Central, Montana, all the way to the West. If there's not flowers, bees can't make honey. Drought years are tough. Uh, the, there's less nectar and the bees always do better on natural resources. That lack of production, a big hit to their income, but Sunberg says the real impact could be on our environment. But as far as the honeybees go, it's for them. It's their nutrition. We can stimulate them with syrups and artificial pollen patties but it's not the same as them going to the plant and getting it from the flower. She says the loss of honeybees would leave a huge hole in Montana's landscape. So if you enjoy any diversity in trees and blooming plants and wildflowers and any of that, then you're gonna enjoy honeybees. You just don't know that's part of what you're enjoying. A dilemma affecting many apiaries around the state who are all hoping for rain next spring. You gotta take the good with the bad. So you just roll with it. Uh, we're going to give them what they need. We're going to give them some feed to get them through winter um, and get them prepped up for almond season next spring. In Carbon County, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.